are learning about an engineering breakthrough that was made right here in our region. Researchers at the University of Maryland worked for six years to create a soft robotic hand agile enough to play video games, and the engineers used a 3D printer to create the robotic hand. The hope is that the invention will make biomedical devices much safer. Fox 5 photojournalist Ama Arthur Ozma was with engineering team members today as they tested out their creation. This is actually my original Nintendo Entertainment System that I got, I believe, as a five-year-old. Growing up, Super Mario Brothers was the very first game that I ever played, and it defined my childhood in, in a pretty major way. Never did I ever imagine that I would be using my Nintendo skills someday as a professor in a research community. My name is Ryan Sokul, and I'm an assistant professor of mechanical engineering within the A. James Clark School of Engineering at the University of Maryland College Park. At the University of Maryland, we have truly top tier 3D printing resources. And so my role is basically to take advantage of those new types of 3D printing to try to create technologies that help overall human health and well-being. When people think about robots, usually they're picturing something that looks like the Terminator or a C-3PO from Star Wars, but what we invented were these new classes of 3D printed integrated fluidic circuits that you can basically put inside of soft robots. So when I first proposed this idea of being able to use a soft robotic hand to play Nintendo, my students initially looked at me like I was out of my mind. One of the reasons that we, we thought about Mario is we thought about what were one of the biggest challenges for evaluating our hands as kids. So the students were able to demonstrate that they could use this soft robotic hand to be able to beat the first level of Super Mario Brothers in less than 90 seconds in real time. And they were ecstatic, <laughs> was really something that was incredibly fun but scientifically important at the same time. There are a number of biomedical devices like soft robotic heart sleeves and special types of gloves for people who have ailments in controlling their hands that can be built using soft robotic gloves or soft robotic heart sleeves that have better safety than what you would typically have. Video games are definitely not a waste of time. So for any parents watching who are unhappy with the amount of time that their children are spending playing video games, maybe take a step back because this could be beneficial for their future career. And yeah. yeah, and schools plan to meet with NIH officials to see how this invention can be used to build surgical tools. But this is super, super mm -hmm. cool. It gives a lot, a lot of people an opportunity to perhaps, you know, use that to their uh, daily l living. Yeah, and I just love the idea of really looking at a different way at robots. We, we think of them as yeah. clunky technical things when the soft robot made of, you know, operates off air and off water. It, it really is really remarkable what they've been able to do. So. Yeah, and, and, and we once thought our parents would be mad at us for playing video games for I know. 20 hours. Look at that. <laughs> it's helping us. Wow, pretty impressive.